Bethesda just released some information on their website pertaining to the backstory of Starfield. And we're going straight into it. It says here in 2050, humans first arrive on Mars. By 2100, humans are living in space. In 2156, humans arrive in Alpha Centurium, 4.37 light years away from Earth. In 2159, the United Colonies are established. 2160, New Atlantis is founded and becomes the official capital city of United Colonies in 2161. Cheyenne is established by Solomon Cole, who found its first settlement, Kila City, in 2167. In 2188, Cole invites Vali to join Xi'an in the new alliance called the Free Star Collective. The Free Star Collective is officially formed in 2189. In 2194, the United Colonies positioned a star station called the Clinic in orbit around Dipela in the Naren system. The unaffiliated people of the Naren system sees this as a United Colonies attempt to expand their borders and demand the United Colonies to remove the clinic. When the United Colony refuses, the people of Narin voted to join the Free Star Collective, who mobilized to protect the system in 2195. Just a year later, in response to the Free Star mobilization, the United Colony moved the fleet into the Narian system and Free Star responds in kind. The Narian War begins. In 2216, the Narian War drags on as public sentiment soars. Finally, the Treaty of Narian is signed by the United Colony and Free Star Collective in 2216. And in the conflict, the term settled system is formalized in the treaty. In 2221, the Free Star Rangers are founded as an elite protective and investigative force dedicated to serving all citizens of the Free Star Collective. In 2275, the constellation is formed by Sebastian Banks. Original members include Chloe Bow, accomplished physicist, Adrian Massa, the youngest member of the Sebastian protege, Darius Andres, a botanist and a specialist in xenoflora, Benedetta Laurent, a wealthy hair and adventurer, Everando Gale, former smuggler, and Kadri Toma, biologist and physician. The lodge is built in the new Atlantis to serve the needs and people of the constellation for generations to come. In 2305, Barrett joins the constellation. In 2307, the Free Star Collective begins farming on the planet of Vesta in the Lunara system. In 2308, the United Colonies claim that by establishing a colony in the fourth star system, the Free Star Collective has violated the Treaty of Narian. Diplomatic talks break down the United Colony lays siege to Vesta, killing anyone who stayed behind or was brought in to defend it. The colony war officially begins. In 2310, the constellation comes into possession of the first artifacts and tucks it away in the constellation's archive. Just a year later, after several years of conflict, the colony war effectively comes to an end with the Battle of Cheyenne as a flotilla of civilians and military Free Star Collective ships takes down the major ships of the United Colonies Navy using hit and run tactics. In 2315, the United Colony Vanguard is founded as a part of the UC response to the Free Star Collective's use of civilian ships during the Colony War. The Vanguard is the UC's own civilian navy, relying on civilians using their own ships, who pledge to protect the United Colonies and its interests. The ultimate reward for this service is citizenship in the United Colonies. In 2319, Sarah Morgan becomes the youngest head of the UC Navigator Corps, though it's a short-lived position as the division is shut down in 2320. Cast adrift but still eager to put her training to good use, Morgan joins the constellation. In 2321, Walter Stroud, co-owner of the Stroud Eclod, one of the Settle System's premier starship manufacturer, joins the constellation and becomes a primary financier backer. In 2322, former Crimson Fleet pirate Vlad Saul joins Constellation. 2325, Sarah Morgan becomes acting chair of the Constellation. Theologian Matteo Cathy joins the Constellation in 2325. In 2326, Barrett finds the original artifacts in the Constellation archives and knows it must be special. After months of correspondence with Sarah Morgan, graduate student and gifted scientist Noel is invited to the Constellation. In 2327, Free Star Ranger Sam Cole and his daughter Cole joins the constellation. 2328, Andrea joins the constellation as well. 
In that same year, Barrett convinces the Constellation to purchase the Star Station L868 and modify it to become a deep space scanner nicknamed the Eye. And finally, in 2330, Starfield begins. You guys let me know your thoughts on this. Are you going to be a United Colonies citizen by supporting that faction or are you going to be supporting the Free Star Collective? Let me know down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Starfield content. I will see you on the next video.